Keith here from Sports Vibes TV coming at you with another Knicks film breakdown. If you've been here before, you know what to do. You smash that like button. Also, if this is your first time, make sure you're subscribed and also have notifications set to all. That way you're notified whenever I drop more film breakdowns in the future. So in today's film breakdown, we're going to be looking at Emmanuel Quickly's epic performance against the Boston Celtics. And without further ado, let's jump right into the first play. Here in this first play, we're going to look at the opening tip. You're going to see it's being recovered by Julius Randle. He passes it back to Emmanuel quickly. And look, Jalen Brown is already confused. He doesn't know who's guarding who. And he's looking behind him away from the ball, trying to figure out what is going on. And you can see Al Horford. He's trying to point, trying to direct traffic and help him out and try to get him situated. But at this point, it's a little bit too late. Emmanuel quickly, who I would refer to as limitless range quickly, realizes that this guy is giving him way too much space and he makes him pay. Look at what he's able to do from right around 27, 28 feet from the basket. He's able to rise up, knock down the three pointer. And at this point, as a Knicks fan, you felt energized and you felt like we were here and ready to play with Emmanuel quickly filling in for a guy like Jalen Brunson, who's a big part of this team. For him to knock down this shot is key to start the game and it really got us off to a good start. What makes Emmanuel quickly so special is the fact that he's able to bring it on both sides of the ball. So you can see he's about to knock down this free throw and watch what happens. Hits the free throw and now look at Derek White. Emmanuel quickly realizes that Jalen Brown is going to try to get the ball to Derek White. He's not giving it to Grant Williams who has his back turned and he's not giving it to Muscala to bring the ball up. So he realizes this may be an opportunity for me to get an easy steal or at least be a pest and interrupt them as they bring the ball up. So you're going to see Jalen Brown. He's going to pass the ball to Derek White and Emmanuel quickly meets him immediately. You like the pressure. You like to see him up in his face. So Derek White now is going to try and get the ball to Jalen Brown so he can now bring the ball up. Because at this point, Jalen Brown is open. There's nobody pressing him full court. And he would have an opportunity to bring the ball up without a pass like Emmanuel quickly on him. But quickly using that wingspan is able to intercept the pass. And now he is unabated to the basket to get an easy two points and this is something that you really like from Emmanuel quickly that level of hustle he's providing you defensively here's a play where you can see the Knicks really making an effort to try and seek out a more favorable matchup so the play starts with the ball in Obi Toppin's hands it's going to fake the dribble handoff to Deuce which is going to force the Celtics to switch. So Smart is initially on Deuce. You have Grant Williams on Obi Toppin. And now you're going to have Quick enter the scenario with Jalen Brown guarding him. So you're going to see the fake from Obi to Deuce. Deuce is going to leave. And now Obi's going to give the ball to Quick. So now when this is happening, you see who's guarding who. Smart is guarding Obi Toppin. And you've got Jalen Brown guarding Emmanuel quickly. Now you may say, why would you want to have a switch where you're going to get Marcus Smart now on Emmanuel quickly? Well, it's because Jalen Brown is much bigger than Marcus Smart. And although Marcus Smart is a good defender, you like the matchup post to Jalen Brown because we've mentioned um, Emmanuel quickly has packed on some additional muscle mass. And now he can get physical with a guy like Marcus Smart much better than Jalen Brown. Now, look, as soon as he sees Marcus Smart start to put his weight on his left foot, he now starts to attack towards Marcus Smart's right. So it would be Emmanuel Quickly's left. And this is big because coming into the league, Emmanuel Quickly, his, he was a little weak attacking towards his left using his left hand. But in this scenario, we're going to see him attack going left. And you see he gets into the body of Marcus Smart. He's able to get some space. And look, he's even going to throw up a nice little Dirk Nowitzki type fadeaway mid-range jump shot. And that's why I say they tried to seek a more favorable matchup in Marcus Smart because now Emmanuel quickly with that additional muscle mass can clear guys out with, you know, getting into their body, freeing himself up to knock down this knife's mid-range shot. And this is the development of Emmanuel quickly because remember, when he first got into the league, he only really had that floater. And now look what he's able to do in the mid-range in order to create some space and knock down a high-quality look.
Now, before we dive into the next play, I'd like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, BetUS.com. They're currently running a promotion. If you deposit $200, they're going to do you a solid and give you an additional $250 to play with. So once again, you deposit $200, you get $250, and that'll be $450 in total for you to play with. Now, if you want to take advantage, you have to go down into the description, click on the link, and sign up today. Once again, that's BetUS.com, and thank you for sponsoring today's video. Now we're going to skip ahead into the third quarter and we're going to see how Emmanuel Quickly's increased confidence has made him extremely dangerous with the ball in his hands. So we're going to start the play. You see Marcus Smart is guarding Emmanuel Quickly and you've got Grant Williams matched up on Julius Randle. So now Julius Randle, he's going to come around. He's going to play catch with Emmanuel Quickly. And when he does this, it's going to trigger a switch. So again, Smart initially guarding Emmanuel Quickly and Grant Williams guarding Julius Randle. So you have a small or a guard on a guard and you have a big man on a big man. But now look, there's a switch that's being that's occurring. Julius Randle, he's now going to clear out with Marcus Smart and he's gonna allow Emmanuel quickly to cook on Grant Williams. Now, not only is he gonna cook, but now you're going to put the Celtics bigs in a very difficult position. So now you're going to involve Grant Williams and Al Horford in a pick and roll with Mitchell Robinson. So now you have two quote unquote big men, even though they are somewhat undersized for their position, trying to corral Emmanuel quickly out there on the perimeter. So they're not trying to be out there on an island with IQ. They're going to go under the screen and give him a lot of space. And now with Emmanuel quickly being so confident in his form and his shot and his shot selection, he is much freer to now pull up and knock down another 27, 28 footer. And this is amazing to see from Emmanuel quickly, who I think earlier in the season kind of was a little hesitant to pull the trigger, but now you're seeing him pull up and raise up from Steph Curry distances, which is dope to see. This play is another example of Emmanuel Quickly's good defense leading into points on the other end of the court. So you're gonna see Emmanuel Quickly rotate over as Quentin Grimes is manning up Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is not keeping his head up and surveying what's going on out there on the court. So Quickly is able to come over, help, and try to corral Jalen Brown as he makes his drive to the basket. Also kudos to Julius Randle, who rotates over as well to try to stop Jalen Brown from scoring. So by the time Jalen Brown goes up, he's got three Knicks around him. Grimes does a good job contesting and Quick does a good job contesting as well, getting his hands on the ball for the block. Not only does he get the block, but he's also able to get the rebound and now he's off to the races. Yes, we call Emmanuel Quick because that's his last name, but Quick is also a big part of his game. You can see he has the ball and he's off to the races. He's able to get the ball up court in a hurry. And also look at the awareness. He sees that Al Horford is trying to force Emmanuel quickly towards the help defender in Muscala. But Quick does a good job coming back over to his left hand and finding the open lane to the basket. Once again, Quick is able to attack towards the left, which was usually viewed as his weaker hand, which is still probably his weaker hand, but now he's definitely been able to use that in order to get the step on opposing defenses. And as you can see, he's well ahead of the pack now, and he has a nice, easy finishing lane at the basket. And there you go with two points following that block. We're still in the third, and this is going to be another instance of the Knicks seeking a mismatch, knowing that Boston is going to switch and making them pay when they do. So you're going to see iHeart. He's going to set a screen to get Emmanuel quickly, that one-on-one -on -one matchup where he knows he's going to have the mismatch. So after iHeart sets that screen, it's going to initiate a switch by the Celtics. And now Emmanuel quickly is going to be guarded by Muscala. And Muscala just does not have the quickness or the foot speed to stay in front of an Emmanuel quickly. And because of that, he's going to react to any little move that Quick makes. So you're going to see Quick act as if he's going to drive, does that little step back between the leg, and it forces Muscala now to react and take a step back. When he does this, it gives Emmanuel quickly a 
enough space to rise up and knock down the three. And Emmanuel Quickly's confidence is at its highest point, I think, all season. So if you give that man any type of space, he's going to rise up and get a quality look and knock down the three most likely. And that's exactly what we see in this instance. He's given more than enough room to get his shot off because Muscala is scared of the drive. And Emmanuel quickly just rises up, knocks down the three, and helps cut into the Boston Celtics lead. We find ourselves in the third quarter once again, and we have the same mismatch we saw in the previous play. We got Mike Muscala matched up against Emmanuel quickly, and Emmanuel quickly does the same thing, cooks him. You're going to see Muscala is going to react to any little movement that Quick does. So before, Quick knocked down a three. So he fakes the same little step back that he was able to knock down the three. It's a slightly different variation, but same concept. And it causes Muscala to bite. So now instead of him falling back like he did in the previous play, he steps forward to try and contend against the three. And Emmanuel quickly has him exactly where he wants him. You can see Muscala is forcing IQ towards the Tatum um, help defense and quick make sure he goes towards his right now gets around Muscala which forces Muscala now to open up in the opposite direction so now he's even it's going to take him even longer to try to get in front of Emmanuel quickly and Emmanuel quickly has been in that weight room added some muscle mass and he's able to take the contact still go up get a quality look make the shot and one ref he knocks down the shot. He's a good finisher when it comes to drawing and ones. And he makes the Boston Celtics play for pay for thinking that Muscala can guard him. Flex on him, Emmanuel, quickly. Do your thing. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, this is another Knicks film breakdown here on Sports Vibes TV. If you haven't subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. Once again, I'm Keys, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm out. Uh-huh.